What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Shaver Speaks, man. Let's get back into it again, courtesy of comicbook.com. Shout out to you guys. And for those that are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the notification bell to stay notified whenever I drop a video. And I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Thank you guys for watching. And for those that are returning, thank you all the same. If you guys have anything you guys want me to talk about next, let your boy know in the comments below. It's always, always welcome, always will be. All right, without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, guys, there's a brand new, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but for those that don't know, there is a brand new Candyman that's coming out uh, late to mid-August. And uh, if you guys don't know about Candyman, that's the man played by Tony Todd with a hook. That's even vendetta in the state, uh, I'm sorry, in the city of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, Candyman was one of the casualties of the coronavirus pandemic, which is very true. I remember doing a video on it some time ago. I might just post a link to the, the previous video I did on it in the uh, comment section below for you guys to check out if you guys are in, interested in looking at it. Um... Like I said, it's, it's with a longer way to horror film having to be delayed over a year as theaters grapple with COVID-19. But a new trailer gives horror fans a deeper look into the upcoming film that is set to scare audiences this August. Now, while the original Candyman was played by Tony Todd, which is a great actor, actor man, he even voiced uh, Zoom actually on The Flash for those that didn't recognize his voice or for those that did recognize his voice. Now, following a, a terrifying specter hunting a Chicago public housing project dubbed Cabrini Green, um, and that's that's quite a personal feel from right there, man. Very old school of a name right there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shouts out to Cabrini Green, man. My, it, it's I got stories for that, man. Uh, it seems that this was it seems that this new film will be introducing some new variations of the hook-handed apparition that remains one of the most classic movie slashers to date. Now, director Nia Nakasa, who was chosen to help in bringing Captain Marvel's Sequel to the Life of Marvel Suites has had this to say about the delay via her social media account, stressing the importance of the horror movie being shown in theaters. Uh, she goes on to say, and I quote, We made Candyman to be seen in theaters, not just for the spectacle, but because the film is about community and stories, how they shape each other, how they shape us. It's about the collective experience of trauma and joy, suffering and triumph, and the stories we tell around it. We wanted the horror and humanity of Candyman to be experienced in a collective a community so we're pushing Candyman to next year to ensure that everyone can see the film in theaters and share it in that experience. You can't hate her for that one, man. Uh, she wants everyone to really experience it and have a really great time. I don't blame her. As much as I would really love for this film to jump right off right now, I can I got I can respect that she just wants it to be what it is. Now, the film itself is written by Jordan Peele, the comedian who has made a name for himself in the world of horror with award-winning projects such as Us and Get Out and stars Yaha Abdul and Mateen uh, Jr. as artist Anthony McCoy, who has ties to both the Murdering Spirit and Cabrini Green itself. While it hasn't been confirmed as of yet, many believe that Anthony's character is in fact the baby that played a pivotal role in the original film, which I don't think is far uh, is far fetched. I really don't, because I remember watching the original Candyman and thinking, looking at that baby, and thinking to myself, "Hmm, from years to come, that baby's gonna really play a pivotal part." And the how the first franchise moves about, you know what I'm saying? Um, so is a return to be possessed by the legend that remains to haunt the Chicago housing complex to this day. Um, as we all know, for those that didn't know, Candyman was originally based on a short story written by Master of Horror Clive Barker, who is responsible for the Hellraiser franchise. And it's clear that the, that the scary tale has managed to strike a chord among creators and fans alike. So, what do you guys think? about of the new trailer of Candyman. You know, let me, you know, let y'all know, you know, let can you know, let comic book know what y'all think in their comments below. And as well, let your boy know what y'all think about Candyman. Like, do you think we'll see Tony Todd return to the role in the upcoming film? Uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below and in comicbook.com. This is your boy, Chef Speaks, once again, signing off. I love y'all, man. Peace and love.